All right, guys, this is the coolest stunt plane ever. Look at the little flaps right there. It'll cause it to do complete loops in the air and keep gliding. It can do sideways curls. It can fly upside down if you just flip the flaps over and you know, reverse them. You can actually toss it and it'll fly upside down and keep gliding along there. Uh, just a great, great plane. So let me show you how to make the thing. So the best kind of paper to use would be just a regular piece of copy paper, printer paper. Uh, if you don't have any of that, if you just got a piece of notebook paper, that'll be okay. So what you do is you just go ahead and fold this down, make sure it's completely even there, so you get a nice point on the end. So just line up the side and line up a point on the other side, get a crease in it. Okay, so you've got that part right there, and then open that up. And then the next part's even easier, you just follow that crease down to here line it up here and then you're going to get a nice x crease because that will line up perfectly on the other side there if you did that right so right now we've got a nice crease on that side so you've got that x pattern right there okay so now the next part is sort of like the origami part here where you're going to go ahead and you're putting your fingers inside there to push it together and in, the, in the center of the x okay so then you're going to bring these things out, pull these things out along the crease there, just like this, okay? See how that's done? So this is just flapping around there, you just go ahead and slide this down, and then you can just bring that in, and press down, and then crease these guys, and now you're, you're almost set. That was the hardest part right there, the, the, rest, the rest of it's super easy, okay. So then you just bring this corner up. See, I'm not taking the whole thing here. I'm just taking that little corner right there. Make sure it's horizontal. Don't make it tilted up like that. Make sure it's just horizontal like this. Lining it up. And then just grab the other one. Line that up in the same spot. You know, it's a mirror image here. Perfect symmetry for perfect flight. And then you go ahead and bring the tip over. Fold it right along that crease and we'll just touch that little dot right there where it all comes together. Almost set there. Now you just gotta fold the thing in half. So go ahead and line up the wings there so that they're even. Fold it in half, get a nice good crease on there. Then you're gonna open it up. See, you got like pretty much space right about in the middle of there. Just crease this down. Make sure it's even. Don't, don't have it be uh, crooked here. Just bring it down nice and even there. Alrighty, so we got a nice crease there. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Again, symmetry is what we're going for here. You're making it symmetrical. Voila, whoopsie, it's a little bit off there. Let's get that trained out there. This is even better. There we go. If it's not symmetrical, you're gonna get uneven flights there. All right, so that's the basic parts. So now, you know, it'll fly kind of like that, but it's going to fly much better if you give it some fins. So go ahead and on these tips of the wings, just fold it up. That's going to help to keep it flying straight if you do that on both sides. Got a couple of fins there. And then to have it continue to glide, there's, let's see, there's a lot of weight on the front, so you need these tail flaps. Not tail flaps, but wing flaps. Doesn't look like you have a tail, but it's sort of like the tail because it's on the end of it. This is just like a regular jet airplane. They have flaps. Now you're set. You got it. And this bad boy will just fly like a charm. There it goes. <laughs>